This is a KGUN 9 on your side news update. Well, in just a few minutes now, we're told the nurses from St. Joseph's and St. Mary's will be lined up at the hospitals holding a 24-hour strike. Nine on your side, Veronica Vernaccio joining us now from outside St. Joseph's with everything you need to know about what's going on. Veronica, good morning to you. Hey guys, good morning. Yeah, you can see behind me right now, the nurses are already trying to set up. They're actually going to start at 7 a.m. because they can't officially start their strike until that time. But you can see them. this is over at St. Joseph's. There's also another strike happening here at St. Mary's, but this isn't the only place it's happening. And it's also going to happen in California and Florida today, totaling 5,400 nurses that will be on strike. You can follow me over here. We'll give you a better look. You can see there's kind of ticket signs down over there. They'll be holding them up and they'll be out here for 24 hours. They will not be going to work. They will be, they won't be out here overnight, but they won't be going to work for 24 hours. So from 7 a.m. to 7 a.m. But once this officially starts, we will be here and we'll be streaming that on Facebook Live. So if you want to catch the strike as it's happening, you can just go to our Facebook Live. That is at Kagan 9. But for now, reporting live at St. Joseph's, Veronica Vernaccio, Kagan 9 on your side. Veronica, thank you. The married couple who led authorities on a 16-day manhunt appeared in a Pima County courtroom through a video link yesterday. We're looking at Blaine and Susan Barksdale here. They pleaded not guilty. It's not clear whether the Barksdales will stand trial together in this murder case. They are accused, of course, of killing a Tucson man. His name is Frank Bly. We could learn more at the Barksdales' next court appearance, which is set for the 21st of October. An Arizona family is looking for their son, who is a U.S. Marine. 20-year-old Job Wallace left for Camp Pendleton on Monday, but never got there. He was last seen leaving a friend's house in surprise at about 9 p.m. Monday. Wallace's family says he was recently promoted and was excited to go back to San Diego. His mom says his phone pinged Monday night in Arizona, and a Border Patrol camera spotted his truck Tuesday morning just southeast of El Paso. The climate summit at the U.N. is coming up and millions of students want their voices heard. Young people across the country and right here in Tucson plan to take part in a walkout today. They want world leaders to do more immediately to address climate change. The climate strike begins at 4.30 at El Presidio Park, led by students at University High School. Tucson city leaders are working on two projects to improve safety for cyclists and pedestrians. These are part of Prop 407, which of course was approved by voters. The city wants to make things safer on the 3rd Street and Treat Avenue bicycle boulevards. Last night was the first of five drop-in events to learn more and give input. It was held at the historic Y Lobby on 5th Avenue. We asked the project manager to tell us more about the changes, and he told us that actually the next community event is going to be Saturday at 5.30 at La Madera Park. All right, April Madison joining us now for a look at our forecast today. April, good morning. Good morning. Can you believe we're still sitting in the 60s as we approach the 7 o'clock hour? We may just barely get into the 70s once we get that update. I'll say this, though. It is going to be another seasonal day and only a degree or two cooler than yesterday. Our norm is about 94, so obviously we'll be right around that leading into the weekend and staying dry really for the majority of the weekend. It's not till late Sunday and especially into early next week that we anticipate that tropical moisture bringing us a pretty solid chance for rain. Check that out. And first official day of fall, we're talking highs right around 89.